to do is have your threaded needle. And if you don't know how to thread the needle, all you do is hold it up and have the tip of the thread um, stiffened. Usually you, you kind of stick it in your mouth and uh, pull it tight so that it's stiffened so it will easily go through the eye of the needle. And then you tie both ends in a knot and you're ready to sew. The best way you're going to start is to pull one, pull the thread and needle through one side of your um, pattern, your cutout pattern, all right? Because then on the next stitch, uh, you'll pull it through both sides. So you're holding the both sides of the cut pattern together and uh, going around the edges, trying to make it easy, uh, even. Um, if this is your first time sewing, allow yourself to make mistakes. It takes a while to become a good sewer. Uh, as you can see, my sewing is, uh, I haven't sewed in years, and it does take a little while to get it into um, a nice even stitch. And I'm at the end of the thread here. I'm going to have to re-thread my needle, and I want to have it um, have the, the knot on the inside of the um, llama. So what I've done, just like starting it, I'm just sewing it through one side, and you can see that instead of going through both pieces, I've just pulled it through the one piece, and I'm going to cut it, snip it, and knot it on the inside. Just like that, there's the knot. I'll snip off the uh, long, long threads and close it together, re-thread a needle and start doing it again. So there's my re-threaded needle. And I'm starting it through the, the one side again, as you can see. So here is the threaded needle. It's a different color. And again, I'm going soft, um, evenly, trying to go evenly around the edges of the, of the uh, llama. And um, you can see I have it all the way around. I actually use three different colors of thread. My <laughs> needlework is a little poor, but now I have uh, the middle between the two legs of the llama. I've come to the end of that, and I'm going to start stuffing it with the stuffing. You uh, have some stuffing in your, uh, in, in your kit. So you're just going to take it a little piece. Um, if you have a crochet hook, a thicker crochet hook, or even uh, chopsticks, uh, you, you're going to need that to stuff it into the corners and the tips of uh, your little um, llama. So you stuff it in, take small bits, don't try to stuff it all in at once. You take just small bits, kind of roll them in your fingers and stuff them in the hole uh, that you have wherever you put a hole, left a hole for the stuffing to be entered into the, into the llama. All right, so you can see here in this picture, I have the body part is filled up, but you can see that the legs and the head are not filled up. And I'm going to pick up the uh, um, crochet hook or whatever kind of tool that you're going to use to stuff it in. Even the tip of a, the eraser tip of a pencil, of a long pencil will work. Anything that's uh, smooth, and will fit in your hole, will help stuff the uh, stuffing into the different parts. So here you can see the um, head is, is empty, so I'm going to stuff it in. And you can see I stuffed it in, so now it's all full. All right, so all that stuffing that I put through that hole is now pushed up into the top of the head. And now I'm going to add more stuffing into the body and uh, move it around with the crochet hook or whatever tool you're using. 
So you can see the legs on this picture are empty. So I'm going to move the stuffing around into the legs so that they'll um, be full and also into the corner where the tail is. And now I have the whole body is stuffed with the stuffing. So I'm going to finish sewing it. You can see uh, the opening that I left to uh, finish sewing it. Now that it's all stuffed the way I want it, I'm going to finish sewing it so that it's all one piece. And uh, snip the end ends. Oh, my stitching is uh, pretty poor, I'll admit that, but I'm getting better. It's, like I said, it's been a long time since I have uh, been sewing. So it takes practice and it's worth practicing. Uh, I really do enjoy the uh, sewing using, using uh, needles and thread and materials. So practice it. And here it is. Here is the stuffed little llama.